fifth grade students. Hi! Today we will have fun and learn something that is easy but very important in our speaking and in our writing. When we want to talk about things that happened yesterday or last week or in your last weekend or last month or last year. How do you talk about things that happened in the past? Today we will learn how to use the past simple. Let's start by asking this question. What did you do yesterday? Yes, remember. What did you do yesterday? To help you remember, I will talk about myself, the things that I did yesterday. Yesterday, I woke up early. Then, I washed my face. And then, I brushed my teeth. And after that, I took a shower. After that, I had my breakfast with my lovely parents. And then I went to school. We started school early. We had a lot of fun learning new things, talking with the friends and doing many things. And after that, I left school and went back home. I did all my homework. I played with my little brothers and sisters and then finally I went to bed happily. Now I will ask you this question again but after a while. So think about the things that you did yesterday. Let's start learning about the past simple. Let's read the following sentences. Rania lent Fatima a book. She lent Fatima a book. This happened before, maybe yesterday, last week. Two, Fatima wanted to be friends with Rania. Three, Bilal told Omar to go away. Four, Ben was very sad. He was very sad yesterday, but we don't know about today. Maybe he is happy now. But yesterday, Ben was very sad. Fatima gave Rania her book. As you can see, all these verbs lent, wanted, told, was and gave, they are all in the past simple. They all actions happened in the past. Now, how do we form the past simple or the simple past? First of all, we use the simple past to talk about things that happened in the past. Happened yesterday or last summer or last holiday or at the weekend. So when we want to talk about what we did in the past, we should use the simple past. Now how do we form it? It's very easy. Just focus. If the verb in the present and you want to change it to the past, all that you need to do is to add ed to most of the verbs. For example, play, played, listen, listen, she played basketball. Now, when we have an irregular verb. What do we mean with irregular verbs? Which mean the verbs that don't follow the rule. 
They don't take ed. They change themselves. Like do becomes did. I did my quiz yesterday. Write becomes wrote. See, so, tell, told, give, gave. Excellent students. Now, let's remember that we are talking about this area. We are talking about the past. Things that happened in the past. So, with all subjects, we change the verb into verb to, which means either we add ed or we change the verb completely. Now, as we said, we have regular verbs. Regular means they all follow the same rule. And the rule is to add ed at the end of the verb. And we have irregular verbs. Irregular means they don't want to follow the rules. They don't want to take ed at the end. Let's learn some regular verbs. Ask, asked. Look, looked. Play, played. Want, wanted. Show, showed. Help, helped. And talk, talked. Can you think of other verbs that take ed to be in the past? Think. Now let's look at some irregular verbs. The verbs that don't want to follow the rule. They don't want to take ed. Let's learn them. Memorize them. Tell, told. Repeat after me. Tell, told. Lent, lent. Write, wrote. Go, went give gave see saw is was and are becomes where excellent students they are very easy to learn just keep repeating them now let's look at this conversation and try together to find the past simple verbs. Let's read it together. Come on, Omar, let's play basketball. Hi, Ben, let's ask Bilal. I'm sorry, Ben. Ben and Omar wanted to play basketball. Omar saw Bilal. He invited Bilal to play. Ben and Bilal were friends again. Let's look at the past simple verbs. Look with me, help me. Can you please find them? Yes. Where are they? Yes, we have wanted, wanted. What else do we have? We have so. So, it's the past from see, see, so. And we also have invited. It's the past from the verb invite, invite, invited. And the last one is where. Bilal, where friends again? Where? Where is the past from? Are. Excellent students. I think now you have understood what we mean with the past simple. These are the verbs. Now, I will go back to my first question. I will ask it to you again. Tell me, 
What did you do yesterday? Did you go to school? Or you didn't go to school? I want you to cre create a sentence using past simple. Write about the things that you did yesterday and write these sentences on your notebook. It's time to start practicing. Come on, let's start writing sentences with the past simple. Dear sixth grade students, I hope that now you can easily talk and tell your friends about the things that happened with you in your last holiday or in your last weekend or what you did yesterday. Use the simple past to talk about everything that happened with you before today. Thank you for watching this and I hope that you have enjoyed the lesson. Thank you.